If a person has gold or silver jewelry, which they intend to use, do they have to pay zakat on that? As far as paying zakat on gold and silver jewelry, if a person is using it, the difference of opinion. One group of scholars say that zakat may not be given, while the other group of scholars say that zakat should be given. According to the scholars like uh, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, and Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on them, all of them say that zakat need not be given on gold and silver jewelry if it is being used. Based on the hadith of Al-Bahaki, where Jabir ibn Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, when he was asked, that is zakat liable on gold and silver jewelry if it is being used. He said that zakat is not liable even if it's a thousand dinar. A thousand dinar worth of gold, then zakat is not liable. It's mentioned in the hadith of Bihaki that Asma binti Abi Bakr, the daughter of Hazar Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, she used to put jewelry on her children, on her daughters, and the jewelry was more than 50,000 dinar of gold. But yet she never used to pay zakat. And another hadith which is mentioned in Mount Al Malik that Hazrat Aisha may Allah be pleased with her, the wife of the Prophet, she used to take care of her nieces who wore gold jewelry, but she never paid zakat on that. So based on this hadith, all the hadiths I say, based on these three hadiths and other some hadith, that these scholars say that zakat need not be given. But the other group of scholars, like Abu Hanifa, Ibn Hazm, may Allah have mercy on them. These group of scholars, they say that zakat should be given on gold jewelry, even if it's worn. And they give various verses of the Quran and the Hadith. For example, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 34 and 35, that as to those who hoard gold and silver and spend it not in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning those who don't give zakat, announce to them a grievous penalty. And that wealth will be heated in the fire of hell. And with that, they'll be branded on their forehead on the flanks and on the back, and it will be told to them that have the taste of wealth that he hoarded. So here it says that anyone does not give zakat on gold and silver, hoard it and don't give zakat, you will ban with fire. So based on this verse of the Quran, they say irrespective whether you're using it or not, you have to pay zakat. And the hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of zakat, hadith number 2161, that all those who hoard gold and silver and spend it on the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a plate of fire would be made on the day. And they would be heated in the hellfire, and with them, they would be branded on the flanks, on the forehead, and on the backs. And then he recited the verse of the Quran, of Surah Al-Imran chapter 3, verse 780, that those would not spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And further, there is a hadith, of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of Zakat, hadith number 1558, where a lady comes along with her daughter wearing two heavy bangles of gold. And when they approached the Prophet, the Prophet asked that, have you paid Zakat on that? So they said no. So the Prophet said that, do you want Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to put bangles of fire around your hands. So immediately that lady, she removes the bangles and gives it to the Prophet and says, I give it in the way of Allah and His Rasul. There's another hadith mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of Zakat, hadith number 1560. Hadith Aisha Allah repeated with her, the wife of the Prophet. One day, she wears two rings of silver and the Prophet enters and sees these two rings of silver. So he asks her, now what is this? So she says, that I made myself for you a messenger of Allah. So the Prophet asked her, that did you pay zakat? So she says, no, or as Allah wills. So the Prophet replies, that is sufficient for you to take you to hellfire. So based on this hadith, the scholars say that zakat is fard on the jewel, even if it's worn, if it contains gold and silver. And the second ruling of the scholars, that zakat is fard, is more stronger 
and is more correct, though they are different opinion, but that is more followed by the people. And because betting is zakat, rather than stay away from it, it always gets sawab in that. Therefore, most of the scholars agree in the second view, though the scholars do differ. Among the scholars who say zakat is not fard on gold and silver jewelry is Jabir ibn Abdullah, Abdullah ibn Umar, Asma bin Te Abi Bakr, Milla be pleased with them all, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi, Imam Ibn Ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on them. These scholars say that zakat is not fard. With the other group of scholars who say zakat is fard, amongst them, we have Hazrat Umar ibn al Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, Abdullah ibn Masood, Abdullah ibn Abbas, we have Sufyan Thawri, may Allah be pleased with them all, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, Ibn Muntib, Ibn Hazm, may Allah have mercy on them all, Sheikh Utaymi, Sheikh bin Baz, may Allah have mercy on them all. So all these scholars, they say that zakat is fard on gold jewelry, if it reaches the Nisab level. If it doesn't reach, it's not fard. And the second view that is fard is more authentic, it's more stronger, but there are different opinions among the scholars.